You are listening to Off Planet Radio at offplanetradio.com. So this comes uh, into the other area I wanted to talk to, and this is a big subject, but I think I think we can address it. Thomas and I talked about this off air. Um, global martial law, and we're not talking right now about anything we've seen in this century, but something much more uh, ancient. So maybe you guys can, because this will actually inform the conversation of um, what is occurring now, the global martial law, the lockdown of planet Earth. And let's, let's do the back history on this. When I first got this position, I guess you would say, um, I was approached by the people you know as, as M, which is not Marcos, and, and uh, a couple the other two people here that I described as were at the top of the world. Um, it had been within 30 days of, of me being in Russia where I was notified of this purported position. And um, they sent me this sheet of paper that's probably about six foot long and maybe about three or four foot wide. And I was actually going to, we were talking about doing video, and I was actually going to uh, show everybody um, on the video uh, this plan. Uh, it's called the Global Martial Law Plan. Now, Global Martial Law began on the planet Earth in 16,500 years ago. Um, at the time, there were between five to seven, it's debatable, tribes on the planet Earth. And one of the tribes was at war with another tribe, and in marched the Draco. And the Draco basically convinced one of those tribes that they would give them advanced weaponry if they would agree to global martial law. And under global martial law, the M, Etal, became the dictator of the world because under martial law, as you know, the head general is the one that takes over the country, so to speak, or in this case, the planet. So they got their advanced weaponry, they won the war, and M took control, and he's been in control ever since. So he keeps revising the global martial plan where you will have one world order, um, and that world government will serve him at the time. He's dead now. And, um, <clears throat> and that was the plan he was always working towards, was to be the king of the world. So... Under the global martial law plan, it required them to control basically every resource on the planet Earth, um, but they definitely had a hierarchy and a structure. And this is what I wanted to point out. So somewhere at the top of the sheet is the three gentlemen, and he uses a, a Sun Tzu wheel type design. And I have posted this before, and, and Thomas can pass it along to you. Um, so they, the three of them were at the top. So it was a father and, and, and some brothers that were at the top. Then you had 21 parents. Then you had the coven leaders, and then each coven had one to two people that reported to its respective leader. Then you had a whole bunch of other groups, which are predominantly, you let's call them 36 to 39 different groups, each one hailing from a different location. And then after you get past all those groups, then you start hitting people. So then the people are down here where you have your dragon families, your Asian dynasties and, and whatnot here at the top of the people food chain. But the point I wanted to make is that there are several layers above always was before you get down to these people that call themselves the rulers of the world. They are far from the rulers of the world. They never ruled the other 36 to 39 groups that are here. Uh, they never even came close to having a direct conversation with the people at the top. The only reason why those people ever reached out to me is because their goal was to control me. Um, I didn't know that at the time. I thought that they were working together with us. They said they had changed their ways and so on. But, you know, then I sat in meetings with them every Saturday for three years. And they used to laugh at the amount of lies that they could tell, and everybody just believes them. Yeah. And then you get down to the families, and then several layers below the families, you start getting to the government. So the people 
that are saying, oh, let's fight the government, fight the government, fight the government. All those instructions came from so far away from the government, the government is just following along with the bouncing ball. The unfortunate part about what's happening now is the 39 groups are no longer cooperating with the Dragon family. Then there's nobody left up here. I think there might be one coven left, uh, possibly two. Um, and in those people, you know, we don't, we don't, I don't talk to those people. And then there's no parents left. Um, and, and so you've got, uh, sporadic stragglers up here at the top, but they were never the brains of the operation. The brains of the operation always was, I, I call them the, I've nicknamed them the, uh, trio of death just because of all the things that they did. But that was, they were always the brains. So there's no brains behind the dragon families. Therefore, there's no brains behind the Pindar. Therefore, there's, there's fragmented information that they received over the years. And they're trying to execute on a fragmented plan that somebody else wrote, which is why they don't understand why none of their stuff is working anymore. So these people that are purporting themselves to be the leaders of the world, which governments are still listening to, have no sense of a plan whatsoever. Yep. So when we, we found a loophole, meaning myself and a few other people found a loophole, and it was actually one of the, the original tribe that signed the agreement and, and came to us and said, well, we don't agree with martial law anymore. We want a peace treaty. And then I started thinking about it. And I'm like, well, you know, a peace treaty, that's the loophole. So we went to the council, which is not, there are Draco involved, but there's hundreds of thousands of species involved. And, and we petitioned for a peace treaty here on Earth. Once that peace treaty was signed and agreed to and consented to by the council, then we are now under a peace treaty, which means that anybody violating the peace treaty is subject to the UPU or any other enforcement unit, um, and that includes any of humanity that's not following along. So that is the significance of global martial law, where we had one dictator for the entire planet, which is what put them in control, not the dragon families. They were always sub, 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 sub levels down. But that's how we, we basically gave up planet earth to a third party entity this is off planet radio